It's Memorial Day, and we got good weather, and we got grass on the ground, so. It's supposed to get rain later. We started chopping today. Before getting all the chores done, It's we started at like eight o'clock in the morning, which normally we, we don't because we have chores to get done. But, gotta beat the rain. These fields are a lot drier than they were, and a lot of sections now we can run just trucks. Ferdy's in the the red peat right now because he's done mowing what we think we can get done before the rain. We ain't done first cut, but a lot of it. We do got to get on the manure pretty soon here. We're in the 200 with the dump wagon. Just for this, this is we're over at Flurry's farm, and. Um, a little hilly so some of the sections um, and a little wet couple wet spots over there that you just need the dump wagon but there is a crazy amount of grass here today so last year's first cut was also a lot you know be full right at the end of the row and he can head out that driveway. We're chopping in front of the barn right now, but I gotta go up to the shop because last night the uh, 86 blew a hit, uh, what, it blew some O-rings, so I gotta go fix that up. That's why we're, we're pushing with the 7520 right now. We got this in the shop last night. It was leaking pretty good, but it's supposed to rain and uh, hasn't yet, luckily. So we were able to still keep chopping. That's why, first I was gonna work on this at uh, five in the morning. But instead, he got the chopper going. That way, we could just start chopping. And we pushed with the uh, little tractor. Because the little 84 is still down. So, the 7520 is on the bunk. Anyways, the leak is... Well, if you see where that solenoid is, there's a block right there. If I remember correctly, that's a break... It's, like a, it's a braking block. Oh, not braking block. It's a block for the control of brakes. Something like that. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think it's that's what it is. Or it's for the hydraulic valve bank, but I thought it was for the brakes. Um, last year, I had, for some reason, the bolts, one of the bolts snapped. There's four uh, Allen wrench bolts, and it just blew that sucker right off. Only one bolt was still somewhat on there, and uh, it's been good all year. And I, it, this time, it's just leaking like a little a stream out. Last time it blew that sucker off and it was just full pipe drained the oil tank right out in a couple seconds. Um, I was able to still drive it up here. Last time we had to drag it up to the shop with the loader. But I'll get that off. I know what I'm looking at this time so it won't be as bad. So that's the block I'm taking off. I got some of the hoses off. I got to loosen up these brackets so the steel lines can move. I got to get that bottom one off. I don't got a lot of room in here because... Last time we unbolted this rim and it gave us like six extra inches. We couldn't take it off without taking the weights off. So it did give us more room, but I think I can get it without taking that tire and the duals off. Um, I got the wire unplugged here, for this solenoid, the back solenoid one, the connection fought me last time. So I, all I'm going to do is unscrew it and pop the solenoid off the magnet and let it sit there and leave it connected because I don't care to break it. And then we'll get those Allen head bolts off as soon as I get this stuff loose. But I don't got a lot of room, so yeah. I got that valve bank thing off. I have two new O-rings in. This one was gone, and then this one was half blown inside. And then um, the one that was right here, that one was half blown in. This one was good, and then that one's missing. So maybe a couple, one or two fell when I took it off, 
or they blew out with the oil. Going to see if that's it. Birdies. Birdies grabbing me O-rings. Next size up. Oh boy. Oh, we're... Yeah, he probably gave me the O-ring back. I can grab it, so. Yeah. But I got it. I can almost see anything. I don't know. Can't get my hands anywhere. So. I just gotta get all these bolts. Oh, one started. Are they still on there? I mean, I can only see the top one, but I didn't see any fall or anything. Oh, here. I moved it. All right, well, I just got that tightened down. I'm gonna go try it for the first time. So either my next recording will be me happy or me very angry. Christos here. He looks excited. No, nope, not not excited. should. I'm gonna start it if you wanna see if it's leaking. No leaking. That's very good. Christoph was watching it when I started it just in case I could instantly turn it off because I hate starting stuff and running and then it's pissing oil and you gotta get back. You just lose a lot of oil for no reason. Um, I gotta clean up now and we're gonna slap this thing back on the pro till. We are done planting the normal corn acres, but we have a couple pastures we wanna switch over. So that's what we're gonna get onto now. Um, and one, two pastures, well, one of them is one that we we're leveling. We got it half leveled. We'll do the other half in the winter next year. And then we got to do one grass field, but we wanted to chop the grass off the grass field. But this is running, the parking brake's off. I steered the wheel a little bit, so whatever it is connected to, it'd be leaking already. We got this contraption hooked up. It does take a little while, but we got a picture of how the hoses go, so that way it's always the same. Ready to roll, it's not leaking, I blew it out because you just got done pushing with it. Radiator was packed. We're not gonna take the bucket system off because we gotta chop more, and this won't take too, too long. And it just gives us more weight. 